<laughs> All right, here we go. This is notes uh, five four radicals. Oh yeah. All right, here's how here's how we teach these. Okay, so nice and simple. All right, if you had a pair of shoes, okay, how many how many shoes would you have in a box? One. One pair. Okay, so you'd have one pair of shoes. That's two shoes in a box. That's two shoes. Obviously, if you had a box of shoes and you took it out and it only had one shoe in it and you couldn't find the other one in your closet, you would choose another shoe that day. You more than likely wouldn't, some people might, but you more than likely wouldn't walk around with one shoe all day long. Okay, that goes along with what we're doing today. If you get a pair, meaning two of them, it comes out of the box as one. <coughs> Think of it like Nike 5s, Nike 6s, Nike 7s, whatever the number may be. Nike, whatever. Okay? They would come out as one <coughs> pair of Nike 7s or whatever it may be. If I bring out multiple pairs, okay? So let's say I had a pair of Nike 7s and a pair of Nike 2s. I would multiply those together to get 14. If I had multiple singles left over that I'm putting back in the box. If I put multiple singles back in the box, I would multiply those together as well. Another thing we need to remember is all of our answers are plus minus. And when we're talking square root, we do that because it can be one or the other. For example, what is square root of 9? 3 or? Uh, 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. What else? Negative 3 negative times negative, negative 3 is also a positive 9. So that's why we put plus minus on our answers when we're doing square root. Here we go, 56. <laughs> So we break that down. What numbers multiply to give you 56? It can be multiple ones. What do you choose? Uh, 7.483314774. No, nope. all right, great, great one right there. So Timmy says 7.4 blah, 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 okay? Um, that would be the square root approximated. We want it exact, which means that if it is a decimal, that is incorrect. We want to put it back underneath the square root. So someone said back there, what multiplies give me this? Seven and eight. Okay. Now, I want to break it all the way down until I'm only le left with prime numbers, which are numbers that are one times itself. Can I break eight down some more? Yeah. Yeah, to what and what? Two and four. Two and four. Can I break two down anymore? No. Four? Two and two. Seven is already as far as it'll go, right? Yeah. So now I start circling. There goes a pair of Nike 2s. They come out, plus and minus. There's a pair of Nike 2s. I bring it out as one unit. So it's one pair of Nike 2s. And then I had a single shoe and a single shoe. I got to put them back in the box. And if I put more than one back, they got to be multiplied. So final answer, plus or minus 2, square root of? 2 times 7 is? 14. 14. Too easy. Too easy. Okay. We jump to number two. Square root of 324. We first see it's an even number, so we know what number goes in all even numbers. Two. two. So you could do two. You could do whatever but it, that goes in there evenly, but that's what our calculators are for if you wanted to start dividing some numbers in. But let's say we started with two. Just You'll get the same answer either way. That's two times... 162, if we break that guy down, that's 2 times 81, now I can break that guy down to what? 9. 9 and 9. Now, I understand I could break these two cats down to 3 and 3 and 3 and 3, but then I would just be bringing out two sets of Nike 3s, and when I multiply them back together, what's 3 times 3? 9. 9. So if, here's a little rule. If you got a pair... Stop right there. Mm. All right? Mm. So there goes I like a pair that of Nike 9s. And now i got a pair of Nike 2s so right here. Yeah. I bring it out. Since I had two different full sets, I bring them out and multiply them together outside. Nothing left to go underneath, back in the box. What is 9 times 2? 18. Bang, bang. That's it. Bang, bang, two, two train. Mm. All right, next up, number 3. 90. We got number 3. 8. What <laughs> multiplies give me 98? Uh, Two and... Um, 49. How about that guy? Uh, how about that guy? Good. I got a pair of Nike 7s right there. Stop. Bring it out one time. Plus or minus 7. I had a leftover 2. He goes back in the box. 
Mm -hmm. And that is it. That is all. That is done. Yes, sir. Put them back in the box. Now, what do you think is going to happen if I already had something outside? If that's it, that's it. He stays outside. That's yeah. it. He don't get to go back inside. He's out. Yeah, that's a pair that of Nike fives. Yeah. I go ahead and put him out here. <laughs> go ahead and put him out here. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm all right. Freak, my bad. Now, I'm going to break this guy down. <laughs> Two times. Whoops. 150. Is that fine? We could have divided by five. It's the same thing. Guys, we'll get out the same thing. We could have did 30 and 10. We could have did all kinds of good. Yeah, things. yeah. This guy here, two and uh, 75, yeah, seven, right? Yeah, since five. How about this guy? Uh, five times. Uh, five times. Uh, oh, no, not 25. Don't do that. Five times. Uh, 15. 15, right? Same. Five times 15. All right, now 15, I can break him down to what? Five yeah. and three. All right, let's start looking for Nikes here. I got a pair of Nike 2s right there. Yes, yeah. sir. Bring it out. Nike 2s. Here goes some Nike 5s. We got the newer ones right here. Bring them out. Dang. Yes, sir. So what do I got left over? Uh, three. three. I got a Nike 3 left over. Put Dang. it back in the box. Now, I got multiple things outside. So 5 times box. 2 is 10 times 5 is 50. 50. So oh, plus or minus 50. Square root of three. Two easy. Two easy. All right, number five. Number five. So I got myself an equation that says solve using square root method. Too easy. If I'm solving for x, okay, I'm solving for x, I want x all by itself. So, by itself. Right now, it's got a negative 49 over there. A negative 49 so over I there. take that negative 49 across the bridge. Take it across the bridge. And it becomes a what? It becomes a what? Oh, X. Oh, a positive, positive, right? Yeah, positive. positive All right, now how do you get rid of X squared? Any guesses? We just did them up there at the top. Uh, divide by oh. no, cross thing. Square root, right? Yeah. So I go square root of this, square root of that. Okay, break square that guy down root. to what? Seven and seven. There goes a pair of Nike seven. Square root of X squared just <laughs> undoes the X squared, and so it makes it X equals plus or minus. Seven. That's the pair. I had nothing left to put underneath. There's nothing that goes back in the box. That is it. That is all that is done. Is there? Solving for x on number six. Right now it has a 3x squared and a negative 27 with it. So I keep my 3x squared for now. Take that negative 27 and Positive. cross the bridge. So negative 27 becomes a Positive. 27. positive. How do I get rid of that 3? Divide. Divide. Good. Divide by 3. X squared equals 27 divided by 3 is? 9. 9. How do I get rid of X squared? Uh, square root. Square root. Square root. X equals, break it down to? 3. 3 and 3. There goes a pair of Nike 3s plus or minus 3. Nothing left to go back underneath. Flippity dippity. Flippity dippity. Flippity. <coughs> dippity. Dippity. <coughs> so far so easy? Yes, sir. It's not going to yeah. get any harder. If you want to get harder, you're going to have to go to a different class. All right, here we go. You want it to get harder? No, I have no. Oh, he wants to get it All softer. Right, number seven. Oh, man. Oh. All right, X squared. I don't, what, I don't want negative 48 over there, so I got to move it. For positive 48. Positive 48. And get rid of that X squared by? Square root. Square root. So 48 breaks down to what and what? Lots of things, but just pick. What do you want to start with? Huh? Six times eight, somebody said? Is that what we said back there? It seems to be. Seems to be the top choice. Six breaks down to what? Three times two. Three times two. Okay, this cat here breaks down to two times four, we agree. This guy here breaks down to two and two. All right, they're all prime now. Yes, sir. Start circling. Uh, I got a uh, pair of uh, Nike uh, twos. Nike so plus twos. or minus, I got a two right there. I got a pair of Nike yeah, twos. Know, you know, two. Bring two of them. And then I got a singular what? Three. Three goes back in the box. Two times two is? Oh. Fo. So I got X equals plus or minus fo square root three. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't have my funny bone. And our last one. <laughs> last one. <coughs> first things first, I got a 10x squared with it, so I'm going to put that down. That negative 60, I don't want him over here. 
Move it across the bridge. Positive 80. So it'll be a positive 60, which 20 plus 60, like Timmy said, gives me 80. 80. And then what? Divide by 10. Divide by 10. X squared equals 8. Square. Square root. Good job. Take that guy and do what? 4, four, four times and two. 2. How about him? 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Are they all prime now? Yes, sir. All right. We got a pair of Nike 2s. So X equals plus or minus 2. And a singular what? 4. 2 left over, right? Oh, yeah. So he goes back in the box. The numbers we did for this, A5-4, we did A5 numbers, two, numbers two, two, four, two, four, six, six, seven, seven, seven ten, ten, and 11. And 11. That concludes the notes that for 5-4.